how to get started with Cashflow Payroll, the revolutionary way to run your payroll. It puts you in control and your data securely in the cloud. Getting started couldn't be easier. Simply click the Sign Up for Free button. Sign up with your name and email address and you will be invited to set your password. If there is anything you don't know, don't worry, you can come back and fill it in later. Creating a new company. Let's get started. Enter your company name. Whether you have previously participated in real-time information and how often you will be paying your employers, whether that be weekly or monthly. Clicking Next will take you to the next step of the setup. On the commercial screen, all you need to enter are the basic details for your company. Company name, type, address and the telephone number. Moving on takes you to the Government tab. This is where you will be entering your company's HMRC details. If you don't have them yet, don't worry, you can fill them in later when you do. If you are not sure about something, click on the information icon. Cashflow Payroll will help you through this section, providing advice at each step. Not all companies have a SCON number. If you don't, just leave this field blank. If you are not sure if you are entitled to small employers relief, speak to your local tax office. They will be able to advise you. RTI filing is now compulsory in the UK for employers, so you will need to enable it. On the Payment Options screen, we are entering how the employers will be receiving their wages. Whether this will be by BAX, cash, cheque or other, if you wish to take advantage of Cashflow Payroll's BAX facility, then select BAX. Enter your details into the relevant fields. Clicking on Next will take you to the Payroll Control. In the payroll control, this is where we set up the pay dates and the bank holidays. You can also set up the payroll delivery here as well. Whether you want to print the pay slips or use the cash flow payroll digital delivery. The last screen of the company setup is the opening balances screen. These are your year-to-date figures for the payroll. If you are a new business, there is nothing you need to enter here. If you are transferring from an existing payroll software, you will find this figures in your year-to-date reports. Now that your company is set up, the next step is to add your employees. Adding employees is really straightforward. Click Add New Employee on the left. This will take you to the step-by-step -step New Employee Setup screen. Step 1 is to add your employee's name, surname and date they entered your business. Fill in the starter declaration below and depending on your answers, cash flow payroll will alter your screen. Once you are done, click next and you will be taken to the next step. On the personal details screen, add in the personal details of the employee. Remember, if you are missing any information, you can go back and fill this in later. For the contact details, all you need to enter is the address and telephone number of the employee so you can view it later. The employment screen is where you can set up the employee's job title, department if you have them. Once you've clicked next, you get to the government screen for the employees. This is where you can enter the employee's tax code and whether they are paying back a student loan. Next, enter the employee's national insurance number and code. If you are not sure what these are, remember you can always click on the information icon. In the employment screen, this is where we will be setting up the employee's payment options. How often you will be paying them how you will be getting the money to them. If BAX is the payment method, you will need to enter their banking details. If you choose the payslips delivery by email, you will need to input their email address. Once you have done this, the setup of the employee is almost done. The next step is to enter the employee's opening balances, even if they haven't earned anything since the 6th of April. How to run a payroll using Cashflow Payroll 
Clicking on payroll on the left hand side, a sub menu is presented. Clicking on pay slips and periods. Each employee will be listed on the screen. This will take you to your most recent payroll run. It is within here that you can enter in the employee's payroll details. In order to run the payroll for an employee, click Create Payslip. This takes you to the employee's pay screen. It is at this point that we can enter in the employee's pay details. You can set up the employee's hourly rate by clicking on Hourly and entering in the hourly rate. Clicking on New Item under the Payments section, you can now add in the number of hours that the employee has worked. Cashflow Payroll will automatically calculate the amount the employee is due to be paid. If you need to make an additional payment or deduction to an employee, click on New Item in the relevant section and select the type of addition or deduction you require and enter in the amount you wish to add or deduct from the employee's pay. Once you have done this, click Create Payslip. Once the payslip has been created and you can confirm the details are correct, you can click Approve Payslip and Save Changes. Once the payroll is done, you then need to finalise the payroll run. To finalise the payroll run, click the Finalise Week – Month button on the right-hand side. Clicking on Finalise will take you to an overview of your entire payroll run. If you are happy with that, click Finalise Period. Finalising the period will make your real-time information submission to the HMRC to ensure that the figures are correct. Congratulations! You've now completed the setup and are ready to do payroll in the cloud. Paying your employees has never been so easy.